Nathaniel, well played. A, a point against uh, the leaders. What's the verdict? Yeah. I feel like we should have got three points. They're a very good side and made it difficult for us winning three kicks and breaking down our play. But I feel like we had more than them. We had more fight, more desire. I just wish that we would have... I had a chance near the end. I should have finished that. But, yeah, I feel like we deserved the three points. They were a good side, but we had so much more than them. And I just feel, yeah, we just... Just unfortunately, they end not to hold on to, to the result. Is that a good sign that you've got a point against the leaders and it's tinged with a little bit of sense of what might have been? Yeah, it's a good good sign. It shows that we have the potential, but I just believe that we we we, sh we have the potential to win these games. Like I, I, we can't be satisfied with a point because I feel like it was in our hands to do. Even though they're a fantastic side, when we get momentum, I feel like we really need to build upon that. So it's a good it's a good starting point. I feel like we just need to build upon it. We can't be satisfied. We can't like rest on our laurels now. We need to take it to a whole new level because teams are going to be more tougher to play against because we know the type of quality that we bring. So I just feel like now this is a good starting point and a good building block for us to keep improving and start getting results. And you had the momentum of a 1-0 lead and of course you were heavily involved at uh, the free kick. Um, first of all, are you going to try and claim it or do you think it's going to go down as an own goal? Oh, I don't think the keeper will want it so I'll definitely take it <laughs> off his hands. But yeah, just been practising after training. A couple of the lads give me a bit of stick, say that you can't take free kicks but Sean Wally was um, just nice enough to just give me an opportunity, knew that it was more of a left foot. And I just believed in myself, I just believed in my practice and everything and happy that I got it. And just, I worked the keeper, so yeah, it was a good feeling for me, just almost got my first goal. And yeah, man, it was, it was good, man, it was a real good feeling. Yeah, it was a wonderful free kick. Are you hungry for more opportunities now when, when the opportunity presents itself on the edge of the box? Yeah. 100%. I just need to keep working on the training ground. I'm getting into good areas, not just from the free kicks, but also like in the box. And I just feel like I need to work on my end product because I feel I need to believe in myself. Just need to keep working because I feel like I've got the attributes. I'm getting in good positions, but getting in the positions isn't enough. It's, it's penetrating and, and taking advantage. So I'm happy that I'm getting there, but now it's kicking on, working hard and, and pushing to get more goals and assists for the team. Yeah, terrific run again from you at, at the end and the decision went against you. Um, how did you see that one when you got into the box? Yeah, I was just going, I was just like dribbling to see what, what, could, ha what could happen and I didn't think it was a dive, but that's the ref's opinion at the end of the day. But I just need to get up and not complain, just keep working and the more I keep trying to attack in them, them areas, it's, it's going to lead to something eventually. So I'm just going to keep being positive, keep working on my game and hopefully I can add to that and start working on my end product to, to really help the team get goals. When you look to the future, Nathaniel, how excited are you about the possibilities here at Shrewsbury Town, given the record the team do have against the division's high-flying teams? Yeah, it just shows that we're, where we are in the league doesn't really reflect how good we are as a team. I just feel we've been unfortunate with the start that we had, but now like we're getting good results. But I feel like we just need to believe in ourselves more. We're getting into good areas against some of the top teams, but I just feel like now it's having that belief that we deserve to win these games. Even though teams are in a higher position than us, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a better team. You have to play what's in front of you. And I felt that, especially in this game, we had the everything to, to beat them, but it's just learning, like getting in these positions and sustaining is the most important thing. And I feel like as a team now, we're just building belief and they're a fantastic side. They're a really good team and they're the top of the league for a reason. So for us to go out and compete and really almost win that game just shows that we're, we're, we're a higher level than teams may think and the league doesn't, I mean, the league position doesn't necessarily show that. So I, I feel like it gives me confidence and it gives the team and the fans confidence that we're going somewhere and we're not here to stay league one we can push for that promotion maybe if not this season then definitely the next season for sure and how much are you enjoying playing first team football at week in week out you've made that position your own yeah i'm loving it i'm loving it it's really tough just to transition from 23s to first team but to have the team around me to help me and to keep keep me pushing is, is awesome and i just love the freedom that i'm giving in this team and like to come into a first team environment and just be accepted is, is special. Like not many young players get that that freedom and that opportunity just to express themselves, man. So I'm really grateful to God for the opportunity to be here and I'm just grateful for the team for accepting me and allowing me to have an opportunity to show what I can do. Well played today. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you.